So, guess who's in town? This guy. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> I didn't even know you were here. <laughs> <laughs> Singapore, how's, how's everything in Singapore so far? It's great, man. Uh, it's actually really beautiful, but it's really humid and hot and hot. So I'd like to ask you a few questions. At one point of your social media career, may I say, you you actually did like 160 videos in one go. Like every day you're uploading for like 160 something days. Am I right? Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you come up with like content ideas? How? Uh, that, that was fortunate because that wasn't... Um, so it was a niche, I do magic, obviously. But there's a challenge in magic called the 365 Days of Magic Challenge. And the goal is to do a different video, a different trick in that video every single day for 365 days. Mm -hmm. I made it to like 160 and then I stopped because uh, I got sick. I got really sick. That's so still I, so I crazy but also impressive. I got lazy. That's I got lazy too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how, how do you come up with content? Like, do you... Do you plan them beforehand like, okay today i'm gonna do this 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 the, the fortunate thing was that i knew which trick i wanted to do each day okay. and then what i would do is i would um tell a story around that trick kind of thing so some videos was just like what's up guys jason mother magician here gonna do a quick trick for you and then bam i'll do the trick and then see you tomorrow but then some of them were like i was gonna go and hang out uh, with a friend, for example, and I would go and hang out with them and I would sort of vlog that, but with the overarching goal being to at some point do the trick that I wanted to do for the day. Does that make sense? So often it would, you would find me hang, you know, in a vlog setting uh, and then I would find like an aesthetic background, like something like this would be perfect. Mm -hmm. And then I would uh, film the trick there because aesthetically it looks great, which means I could also take that clip separate from that video and then post it as something else entirely as well, which is great. So that was kind of the goal. Like it was just, it was like find an aesthetically pleasing location to shoot. And then uh, also tell a story about whatever it is that I want to tell a story about. Very and, nice. And the stories come from just leaning into what's happening that day. Like I'm hanging out with you right now and I've, I've been uh, pretty much vlogging <laughs> the whole thing. So yeah, yeah, that's right, baby. Yeah. <laughs> what's your secret to social media success? I mean, clearly you have like what, 1.5 million followers on TikTok? Yeah. And all that, yeah. right? All right, so, 1.5 yeah. million followers on TikTok, 127,000 followers on Instagram, 75,000 on Facebook, and now 44, 44,000 on YouTube. So it's all growing and it's happening constantly. And I just started Snapchat as well because I thought, why not, right? Ooh. You want to know what my secret is? Um, I just post consistently as one. I know that sounds like a cliche, but consistency is very important. But the other one is uh, posting stuff that you like. So I always believe like if you watch a video of yourself doing something, whatever it is, doing a magic trick in my case, and you don't like it, why would you expect anybody else to like it, right? So just posting for the sake of posting is sometimes worse than not posting at all, right? So the advice that I have for you is uh, be proud of your own work. You have to be your biggest fan. You have to be your own biggest fan. Because if you're not, why would any, why would you expect anyone else to be one of your fans, right? Does that make sense? Wow. Yeah, it's a little bit weird, but that's it's right, really yeah. that's really that's really gold. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I totally agree. I totally agree. <laughs> Do you think being a magician and having an online presence is important? Do so I think it's important? Um, it's helpful. I don't know if it's important. Important implies that like it would be more necessary than not. I think that uh, to be a content creator, you have to enjoy making content. Being a magician, any exposure, uh, except for obviously people destroying your reputation. But you know, any exposure that's pushing your magic out there is good exposure. That's kind of what you want. So, yeah, having a big audience helps. I definitely got a lot of my gigs. I mean, I was contracted on a cruise ship for three months um, recently from, from social media. Uh, I travel a lot because of social media for gigs and clients and all that sort of stuff. And I didn't even have a website. Most magicians have like a professional website. I didn't even have a website. I just, people just messaged me on my email or, you know, through, uh, what's it called? Instagram, Facebook, and I just get gigs like that and it works for me. So don't be like me though, because I'm, 
than it is. But <laughs> but yeah, it's helpful to have a social media presence, but it's it's not necessary or or important. It just it can be useful. Yeah. Well, guys, if you want to know more about me, you can see me on my video because I've been vlogging this entire experience. This is some vlogception right here. These two cameras. Look at this. His world, my world, intertwined in a series of video. <laughs> anyway, the important thing is, is that everybody. Yeah. What's the line again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stay. Can't get the line right. Stay care. Take care. <laughs> stay care. Take care. No, take care. Stay safe. Ah. Can't get the line right. Ah. All right. Let's try this again. <laughs> You guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.